Hello Virgo, I am Eva at Munga Des Oracle. Welcome to my channel. This reading is about love messages and this can be yours if your sun, moon, rising sign or Venus is in Virgo. So to start with, let's find out first uh, what is the energy of your person and what is your energy right now. And I am using the Power Animal Oracle and uh, let's find out what is showing up for the two of you okay so virgo on your side we've got abundance the buffalo reversed you are provided for in all ways and the giraffe foresight you are able to see what is in store for the future interesting energy it's like um You, you energetically are in a place, Virgo, where you are lacking energy. Um, you don't have the energy to deal with this right now. That's what I am getting. And the foresight is you are able to see what is in store for the future. You might intuitively be able to feel where it is going and the bottom of the deck is the path finder trust your instincts to guide you through this situation so there is some something here which um, is possibly making you doubt whether this situation is good for you now your person has the ego the spirit trust in your higher self so they are moving forward and they have the butterfly transformation get ready for a big breakthrough so your energy and their energy seems to be very different oh <laughs> my deck just fell apart even before i started this is a brand new deck so it's very slippery <clears throat> uh, what i was going to say is um You are very grounded and they are a little bit like away with the fairies. Um, some parts of you uh, are flying towards, coming towards each other, other parts are turning their back. So it's not knowing what to do with this situation. That's what I am feeling. So let's see. Let's see. So what is the message from your person? You are the one and only. Wow. Okay. Give me more. You are the one and only. I never expected to fall in love with you so quickly. I think that you are better off without me. See, I am telling you, there are these doubts seeping into this situation, this connection. Both of you are doubting this. It's like wanting it and doubting it at the same time. Okay, let's see more. So you are the one and only. What else we can find out about this? I become apprehensive about being candid with you. I never expected to fall in love with you so quickly. I know I was wrong by not talking to you. Would you be open to talk now? I think that you are better off without me. I hope to have a future with you one day. Wow. This is all over the show. Uh, 
Um, this is someone who is very attracted to you, but at the same time very scared of this situation. Okay, let's do a little bit more. So I become apprehensive about being candid with you. What does it mean? Okay, right. I love you today, tomorrow, and always. I was just a fool for not admitting it earlier. I never expected to fall in love. I have never loved anyone the way that I love you. It's, it's something very strong, very overwhelming at times for them. So let's ask more about this situation. So they say, I love you today, tomorrow and always. Third party. That's why this is so difficult. That's why you are both doubting it. You both feel drawn toward each other, but you both feel there is like almost um, this wall which you can't break through. There were other things that got in the way of us being together. Okay, what else? Unsatisfied. I wasn't happy the way things were going. And habits, I don't know if we will ever change. <clears throat> so this person definitely is in love with you. But it feels like your stars are not aligning with each other. So let's ask more about their feelings. Actually, let's start with this one more about their feelings. So you Virgo seem to be willing to find a way forward with them. They are willing to change, to transform. But is it enough? That's the question. Lies, deceit, gossip. Moon energies, tower moment, major life changes. Okay, tell me more. Other people affecting the connection, yeah. A confirmation of that. Happy times, smiles, good times, relaxed, respect, sharing, being open, honesty. Okay, so these lies could be towards you, could be towards the other person, the third party. And they are opening up towards you because they are happy when they are with you. Wisdom, inner knowing. Father, loving, nurturing, protective, anxiety, depression, low mood, sadness, stuck in life, in a relationship, in a behavior. Yeah, so this is a situation where they cannot free themselves or they don't want to free themselves because of their responsibilities. Okay, so what does it mean? It feels like they enjoy time with you, they want to be with you, but they cannot leave their previous life behind. We both know I am not the one for you. So many things remind me of you. We will be together again. Okay, so I am going to ask the tarot 
about this. So obviously, okay, let's clear the table. We've got the third party situation. And um, we also have these loving messages. I have never loved anyone the way that I love you. Let's keep that on top. And what I would like to know is what is the future of this situation? with the third party first. So what is the future of this? We've got the Six of Cups, reconciliation. You could be in a separation, no contact energy, not necessarily. And we've got the Four of Cups reversed, which is about retreating and trying to find clarity. Now, this reconciliation, this uh, familiar energy in regards to the third party is being in their comfort zone. In regards to you, what is happening? The Hermit and the Five of Swords. So they are reflecting on the situation with you and there is conflict and disagreement. Five of Swords. They might be feeling that they cannot um, deliver to both parties, to the third party and to you. Um, and they have ties to the third party and their family and kids. So if they need to lighten their load it very is likely that they will desert you and not the other side yeah there is a um, lot of passion here they see you as the queen of wands three of wands they are waiting for things to change, to um, become easier between the two of you, fast communication, they could be in the distance from you, and uh, adventure, excitement with the page of wands. But that seems to be every, all that they can give you, wands and swords. So thoughts and passion but there are no pentacles here. There is no manifestation of this. So can we see more about this third party energy? What are they doing there? Death card. There are changes happening there. Okay, what changes? What are the changes in regards to the third party? Nine of Pentacles reversed. Workaholic. So they put their head in the sand. Um, there is a superficial connection. And the sun is sideways. So they are not really happy. In some ways they could be financially and um, they have a family. But it's not their true happiness. So I feel that's what they are trying to figure out. What happiness is for them. And with you, they want the passion. They want... Uh, this new beginning and we've got the ten of cups with you 
happiness, divine love, blissful relationship, love and support. So they are drawn to you, not just sexually, but towards the person you are. Because they don't get this with the other person, what they get with you. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, a Leo, a Virgo. Um, now what's confusing is the Ten of Cups could be a marriage card, like a family and uh, emotional stability, fulfillment, which they don't have with the third party. Okay, so they say we will be together again. And I have never loved anyone the way that I love you. So what is the outcome here? Where is it heading? Seven of Wands. Setting the boundaries. And challenges coming up. So Virgo, you have to set very strong boundaries with this person. And um, not to back down from them. We've got the page of pentacles at the bottom. So be grounded. And uh, there is the fool with the star. And um, ace of pentacles. I feel that financially... Um, you can be very successful, shine like a star, and uh, have a brand new beginning. But in love, it's not looking like you are going to get what you want because of the third party and this is your person's decision they have to break off the third party connection in order to be with you but what they are currently doing is running these two parallel no judgment there but it is showing that lies and deceit and they have to do it to both sides to a degree to make this work so there is no doubt they have some very special feelings for you and they want to come back together if you are apart at the moment. If not, they, then they want to talk more and uh, feel this happiness with you. But I don't see them committing to you. 18, 18 on the clock, as I said that. One is channeling from above aligning with your higher self. 8 is abundance. 1 plus 8 is 9. Progress. So you could be both making progress on your own paths, even with each other. But the seven of wands is key. It is about protecting your territory, setting your boundaries, um, defending your position. Show them very clearly what you accept and what you don't and that will push them either to choose the third party or to find a different way to you this is what i have for you virgo um, let me know how it resonates i go i'm going to continue this on patreon to see more about your person and uh, what is possible between the two of you. Thank you so much for being here, liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. And I look forward to seeing you either on Patreon or in the next reading. Take care. Bye for now.